morning everyone it has been a while and yeah I just need to get used to vlogging a little bit more and I'm planning on doing vlogmas this year but I just don't know how I'm going to do it um with the routine that I have at the moment and the motivation like most of my time is just with Ari and yeah I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do every single day but I'm going to give it a go um so today's plan is to go and get a Christmas tree well, actually, I won't be able to get a Christmas tree today because I can't fit it into my car anymore because the buggy takes up the whole of my boot. I can just about close my boot. So that's another thing that's needed for the next year. I need to get a new car. So yeah, that's something I need to get. Baby Ari is currently sleeping. This is him now. Little cutie pie is fast asleep. And we have the cat in the window asking for food. I don't allow her inside anymore because just with this little bubba that I don't feel comfortable having her in here anymore. So yeah, the plan is to go and look for a Christmas tree today and I do have one which my mother-in-law gave me last year but it's a six foot one and it's really really wide at the bottom. I kind of want one that is just like a really nice shape and a seven foot one so that's the tree i kind of want i do want a frosted one but um i'm not too fast now um i'll just see what's in stock because i was having a look online yesterday and some of them had sold out in the stores that are around me um but yeah i just want to have an idea of what they look like and if i can't get them in store or if shane doesn't take me to go and get the christmas tree then i can order it online um but i'm really not sure if i want a frosted one or not because I do really like the frosted one, but I just don't know if I'm going to get a frosted one. I did want to get a second one to put in the dining room area, but as you can see, we are still in the middle of doing our house up. So I don't think I'm gonna have two Christmas trees up this year. I think I'm just gonna have one in the living room. And if I do, I will put one in here. But at the moment, we're just going with one for the living room. Um, so yeah, I think that will just do for now until we've got the house nice and done and when I'm a bit more organized and know what's going on in my life because at the moment I'm just all over the place. I haven't even been able to get into the Christmas spirit this year because so much has happened and it's just trying to get my head around having baby Ari around. And it's been over a month now since he's here, how time flies. And I was meant to decor the house for like October when Halloween was here like the autumn decor and I just never had time to do that plus like the house is just kind of upside down at the moment so I've just not felt like I wanted to decorate because we're just living with bits and bobs that just are convenient at the moment like they're not my style or they're not my like the sofas they're not something that I would keep I need to get new sofas but like those are all gonna happen next year now and I just don't feel like I want to buy things to suit what we've already got. I'd rather get things once um, I have my own touch in the house and restyled everything. And that's when I will feel comfortable like doing all the small little decors like for autumn, Christmas, summer. Um, so yeah, I just don't feel like I want to do anything just yet. But hopefully we can get the house looking a little bit better for Christmas. We still need to get a dining table for here because I believe everyone's coming around to our house on Christmas day. Um, so yeah, that's something we need to get and I will be cooking Christmas dinner, hopefully fingers crossed, if everything goes to plan. I didn't really think about hosting Christmas just yet because it was right round the corner from giving birth to Ari, but um, I'm sure I'll be able to do it because I just get on with things like that. 
um but yeah it is time for me to leave now and come back within the three hours because that's when baby ari will wake up for his feed um so yeah he is nice and full now and he's fallen asleep so i'm gonna get on the road and i will see you guys later good morning everyone i have to apologize for not vlogging the whole of yesterday i came down with a super bad headache and i think it was just from all the running around that i was doing trying to look for a christmas tree and i didn't even find one so i ordered one off amazon in the night um but yeah i'm just not used to running around anymore especially getting him out of the car every like five minutes so um yeah it's it was just draining for me so um yeah i had a real bad headache and it started from my eyes Shane thinks it was a migraine, but I don't know the difference between a migraine and a headache. So, um, yeah, I just don't know. I've just fed him so that he can have a nice few hours in the car sleeping um, because he has a um, nurse checkup today. So, yeah, they're just going to check his weight and stuff because he was a bit of a slow weight gainer at the start. Um, he just was very lazy on the boob, um, which has made a difference for me because now i'm not able to produce so much so i'm pumping in between um just to get my supply a little bit more so i've just given him breast milk in a bottle so that's why i'm burping him but he hasn't done one but um, this is him right now i think he's gonna fall asleep soon say hi hi youtubers he's got his best clothes on today you're gonna say hi to everybody <laughs> he's tired now but yeah he is a super hungry baby now and he feels a lot heavier and he's definitely put on weight we gave him a bath yesterday and his stomach just looked really really big and you can tell his fingers are getting a little bit chubbier and also his cheeks <laughs> so yeah he's definitely putting on weight i think but we'll find out today by the nurse because every week he was getting better and better at the start he was a bit slow i know babies normally um drop weight um at the start um but it's normal for them to bring it back up to their birth weight within like a week or so but he was a bit of a slow start and it took a couple of weeks but now he is above his birth weight and today we've got another checkup hopefully he'll be 150 grams um heavier because last week he was only 100 grams and they want him to be about 150 every week um so yeah that is the plan but he has been a very super hungry baby this week and i'm sure he has put on quite a bit um but yeah we're gonna find out because we are running late soon so we need to leave um and he is five weeks today happy five weeks baby you're gonna say hello to everybody he looks super grumpy in the, the video you grumpy like a daddy yeah he's always frowning <laughs> So we've just had our nurse checkup and oh my god he is 360 grams heavier this week and normally it's 150 grams they would like to see every week so he's definitely been a hungry baby last week and i think it's just one of those growth things that they go through where like they just want to eat more and they just need more um so yeah that's probably what it was um but yeah she was really happy with his weight gain this week i think he just started off very slow and he just wasn't hungry um but he's definitely putting the weight on and we can see his little chubby fingers and his his chubbiness coming onto him now he was born at six pounds eight ounces and now he's about eight pounds something she has written it down for me but um i just don't know she weighed him in kgs so he's 3.360 grams however you say that <laughs> so yeah he's three kgs and 360 grams that's it um so yeah he's doing really really well um he's probably asleep now but he was wide awake in the nurse but car journeys just knock him out but now we are off to just to get a few bits for the house and i need to do a few errands so that's the plan for now and then we are gonna go home and just chill out i think because i am pretty tired he was awake um for two hours last night um between his feeds and he just was fighting to sleep he likes to stay awake more often in the day um 
and he sometimes is really good and goes to sleep straight after his bottle or he will stay awake. I've stopped breastfeeding in the middle of the night because it's just too time consuming and whereas like, I don't want to disturb Shane um, while he's sleeping because he needs his sleep for when he goes to work. Yeah, we just go downstairs and I let him play for a bit until his bottle's warmed and then we just feed him and then try and get him to sleep. Sometimes he knocks out straight after his feet and sometimes like last night, he wanted to fight it and we were up for two hours. <laughs> yeah every night it can be different um, and we just don't have a routine at the moment but um, we're on Ari's timing at the moment um, I'm saying I'm going to do a few errands but it is now pissing down with rain <laughs> excuse my language I'm going to be outside most of the time so good luck on me um, he has a rain cover and I think there's an umbrella in the car for me so hopefully all should be good um, but yeah I will catch up with you when I'm home so we're back home and into our comfies because we're going to have a nap baby Ari you're gonna say hello to everybody hi everybody really concentrating on the camera his eyesight's getting really good actually he's actually being more alert and following us around and he loves looking at anything black and white and he's very sleepy at the moment so we're gonna have a nap he's already on his way so yeah that's the plan for the next couple of hours and then he will probably wake up for his next feed and then shane will be home by then so we'll decide on dinner and then um yeah we're just gonna have a chilled out friday i think he's asleep and the nurse actually called me back and she was like sorry i told you he was eight pounds something he's actually not he's seven pounds seven ounces so yeah but he is definitely putting on a weight um last week he was just above his birth weight again so yeah uh, he is going in the right direction and this is his best week so far where he's put on three point no sorry he's put on 360 grams but yeah he's doing really good as before he was only put in between 50 to 100 grams so yeah he is on the chubby side now you can see in his fingers and his face now i'm going to have a nap with him good morning everyone Ari, you gonna say good morning to everyone? He's got a frown on his head at the moment. <laughs> he just likes to do that when he's focusing on something. Ari, hi. Are you being grumpy this morning? You gonna say hi to all the YouTubers? He looks so grumpy at the moment. <laughs> Do I take this out your mouth? Hello. You're going to give us a smile? Baby Ari. <laughs> there we go. You giving everyone a smile? You gonna tell everyone that you just been fed? Yeah? <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> You're smiling to all your fans. You like being on the camera, do you? <laughs> you little cutie. My little precious boy. You my little precious boy. Who's my precious boy? You are. He said, Mummy, don't touch me. <laughs> I'm in my element. Hi. Well, good morning to you all. Um, it is a Monday morning and a very frosty morning. It is just clearing up, but when I walked downstairs and it was still so frosty on the grass and my car is frosty, um, but I think the sun's now taken it, but I was meant to vlog it this morning to show you how cold it was at 10 o'clock when I came downstairs. So we've just finished feeding 
Ari, so he's now full. With breastfeeding, it just takes a little bit longer than usual because he's stopping starting. So yeah, when I come downstairs, I just sit with him and just feed him and then now he's happy and he is probably going to have a nap soon. So um, yeah, he's talking to his blanket at the moment. You talking to your blanket? <laughs> so yeah, it is Monday and I didn't get to vlog during the weekend because we just are busy in the house. So I do all like the prep for Shane's lunches and stuff. And then we do a nice roast for Sunday. And um, Shane was working on the bathroom. But we have so much to do, but like we don't really get enough time to do it because uh, Saturday is probably the one day that he gets to, to fully just have a day on the bathroom and then Sunday Shane's parents come over so he doesn't get a full day on the bathroom and we're just slow at the moment in getting things done because they're not really quick things to do like it takes time and like during the week um, I don't expect Shane to come home and just do work because he's tired he has a long day at work and then when he comes home he just wants to relax he might do a few things here and there, but before you know it, it's time for dinner and to settle down. So yeah, we don't really get to do much. So it's a very slow process at the moment. I will actually give you an update on the bathroom because I haven't actually shown you guys what's going on in the bathroom. And that's one of the, the, the last things that needs to be ticked off. Because before I had Ari, we didn't get to finish the bathroom because we were waiting on tiles. But since then they've come out and tiled for us so i'll show you that so this is the current situation in the bathroom and all the appliances in at the moment but nothing is actually plumbed in so we're currently working on just doing the paneling around the the sides and we're also putting skirting boards down as well so skirting boards have done on that side and on that side we just need to complete that side and we need to just finish off the paneling. This is one of the taps that Shane put in yesterday. I'm not sure if I love it yet. I think it's too tall. Um, but like it, I can get used to it. It's really nice, beautiful taps. But I'm just not sure if it suits this at the moment. So yeah. And on the wall I have two patches of paint. So I'm thinking of painting the top bit. Um, I'm not too sure at the moment. I like both of them. This is an actual bathroom paint. That one isn't. So I like that one, but on the camera it looks really dark, but it's actually a really, really, really nice uh, green, like darkish colour. Um, but the blue is also really nice, and I saw it in one of their showroom magazines, and that looked really nice. But the only thing with that is this one isn't actually a bathroom paint, whereas that one is. So it might be ideal just to go for the Wild Eden instead of the Denim Drift. So yeah. Um, that's the the two colors that I like in here and I'm not too fussed if I don't like it painting is one of those things that you can just change um, but I'm also looking forward to having a, a bath in this because it is just fabulous um, cannot wait to just have a bath in there Shane was gonna plumb it yesterday um, but I think he's missing a few bits and this is the shower area so all the tiling has been done Unfortunately, we are getting one changed out because we had an issue with this one. As you can see, we just didn't like the finish on that one. So um, we're going to get that one changed out. Um, so we're waiting on that. And also we need to still order our glass um, because it needs to be cut to measure because of our ceiling going like that. Um, so we need to get it cut. Um, so that's going to be a long process too. So that's something I need to do this week. I just need to call the shop and just get the glass organised. And then I think they they send it somewhere else to get it cut. I think someone needs to come out and measure it first and then have it cut to measurement. Um, but yeah, this is the bathroom update. So far so good and I really like it. I just can't wait to use it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the bathroom update. It's just a very slow process and I kind of want it done before Christmas. Um, because we're probably going to have family coming over to stay and the downstairs bathroom isn't the greatest um, I think the shower head just needs changing but also I just think if we've got two bathrooms it will be quite good to have um, so yeah that's the plan so we're trying to get that finished before Christmas but we have other things to do and Christmas is like literally days away now and we still need to get a dining table because we've asked everyone to come around for Christmas and we have no dining table. 
and I also still need to put up the Christmas decorations. Um, I am waiting on a Christmas tree that I ordered. Um, so hopefully that will come this week. There isn't a um, delivery estimate on the, the order that I placed. So I'm hoping that I get it soon because there's no point sending it after Christmas. Um, I'm surprised that Amazon hasn't given me a delivery date yet. Um, but yeah, at least it's ordered and backup plan is I still have the one from last year in the loft. I just find it too wide and I really wanted one that like is quite tall to the ceiling this time um, because it would just look nice in that corner. Um, I do really like the other one but it's just too wide at the bottom. I don't love the shape. So though my camera just died um, while I was talking to you earlier and I have no idea what I was talking to you about but um, I am dressed into some comfies and I'm currently just feeding Ari and just getting him settled for his nap so that I can do some editing because it's been so long um, since I've done editing and I did a load before to be scheduled before I went into labor but there's one video on my um, laptop that didn't make it um, so I'm just editing that and finishing that off and then I'm going to still upload it so that you can just see the week before I went into labor and um, there will also be a clip of me going into labor. I don't think I filmed much because I was just in so much pain um, and I just couldn't remember to pick up my camera. So um, yeah, there's a short little clip in there of me going into labor. It's just the early labor stage. Um, so yeah, I've added that into it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that video. Um, I actually forgot what I did in it, but I've just watched it back. And yeah, I think I'm still gonna put it out there and let you guys see it for yourself. But I'm just gonna get him settled and then put him down and then start editing. Um, but I'm just so in love with motherhood and he's so precious to me. I'm so in love with him and I just can't get enough. I honestly cannot get enough of him. And I feel like I've grown so much patience um, since I've had him. I didn't think I'd have a lot of patience with babies, but um, I actually have a lot of patience for him. And to be fair, he is a really good baby. Oh, he's come off. And I think that is him done breastfeeding. So um, I think he's going to fall asleep. So once he's in a deep sleep, I'm gonna put him down and start editing. Just put him down. Hopefully I'll get a couple of hours to do some editing and make myself some lunch because it is lunchtime, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea and maybe a sandwich. So I've just made myself a sandwich and a cup of tea. Cup of tea has gone kind of cold now because baby Ari woke up and I've just changed his nappy and changed his clothes and just fed him a little bit more. He's now swinging in his chair, but um, I'm gonna see if I can eat this in peace while he falls asleep. If not, I might have to um, be interrupted. So yeah, as you can see, he's still awake, um, if you can hear that in the background. But um, yeah, this is mum life now, so you never get to do anything in peace anymore. So feeding and eating at the same time is a new skill that I've learned. So yeah, I'm gonna go and enjoy my sandwich now and I will probably do some editing after this. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Baby Ari is now awake and he is ready for his feed. Say hello. Hi. Um, so while I was Doing my editing i pumped i have two of these so i pumped some milk and i'm just going to put it into a bottle for him and give him that it just speeds things up and it also allows me to know how much he's actually intaking are you saying hello to everyone because that was one of the things that i was worried about when he wasn't putting on the weight because i just didn't know how much he was intaking and where i'm pumping now and trying to stimulate more milk um I get a better view of how much he's actually intaking because he is pretty lazy on the boob and he falls asleep, bless him. But um, as soon as I put him down, he'll wake up and be like, I was on the boob last time I knew and I'm not on there anymore, so put me back on there. So we were doing that quite often and feeding times could run up to two hours sometimes and I'd be stop starting, stop starting. By that time, he'd be hungry again. I just thought sometimes me pumping and just putting it into a bottle just speeds things up sometimes so yeah that's what we're going to do we're going to give him a little bottle so we're going to end the vlog here and we will see you in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed my first vlog back if you did then make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys would like to keep up with me and baby ari and would like to see more of him because i can't get it up and i will see you all in the next one